I wanted to share with you just a quick few tips about broomstick lace. I've started making a plain single crochet and it's going to be groups of four. So my stitches of single crochet are a multiple of four. In this case, I made 16 single crochets, just as a practice swatch. I used an eye hook and a size four weight yarn to make my beginning single crochet row, my foundation row. And now I'm going to grab a broomstick. It's a really large knitting needle. And it's how we make broomstick lace. You only need one. So I've removed my hook from the last loop of my single crochet row of 16 single crochets. And that's where my needle is going to go, right in that abandoned loop. Gently snug it up. And this is how broomstick lace is made. I'll insert my hook in the next loop, the next stitch, grab the working yarn, pull up a loop big enough to slide over the needle, and slide it on. I'll do this all the way across. The number of stitches is the same number as the number of loops that you want to have on your knitting needle at the end of the row. This is the basics of broomstick lace. It's a lot of fun and it's quite addictive. I hope you give it a try. There's many variations to broomstick lace and I can show you a lot more in my Learn to Crochet Lace video class here at Annie'sCatalog.com. The video class gives you two projects in broomstick lace, two projects in bruge lace, and two projects in hairpin lace.